Hey everyone, in this video we are finding the cotangent of negative 5 pi over 6. Since the directions are asking for an exact answer, that means no calculator and just use your brain. And if you are in high school and taking pre-calculus or in college, then you're probably going to be expected to do this with just your brain and a pencil and a piece of paper, not with any other additional resources. So you got to bring it with you in here, not in your pockets. All right, cotangent of negative five pi over six. One thing you wanna know for sure is that cotangent is equal to one over tangent. What does that mean? They are reciprocals. So whatever tangent is, if you learn that layer or that, that set of answers, all you need to know is what are the reciprocals of those numbers, and that's how I'll figure out my cotangent. The answers for tangent on the unit circle, I'll go into a little bit more of a breakdown detail in a video a little bit ahead but tangent is equal to zero on these sides and undefined at the top and the bottom. Tangent at the middle is going to be equal to one. Tangent over here at this spot is root three over three and tangent over here is root three. What else do we know about tangent? Positive, negative, positive, negative. Now, once we have that kind of groundwork foundation done, what else can we lay down is that the reciprocals of the tangent values. So what's the reciprocal of zero? Undefined. What's the reciprocal of root three over three? These are things that you should know whether you were had, uh, asked to memorize them or if you've figured them out because you've used them enough times at this point, right? Is root three, the reciprocal of one is one, the reciprocal of root three is, well then obviously it's root three over three. Remember, these are really two way streets and the reciprocal of undefined is zero. So if tangent equals any of those things, that means that cotangent is simply the reciprocal. Reciprocals do not change signs. They don't become positive or negative, you know, just because they're a reciprocal, they are the same sign. All right, next thing, negative, negative angle. Negative angles scoop around clockwise five pi over six. Well, negative means this way, six pi over six, negative six pi over six would be negative pi. If the numerator is smaller than the denominator, that means we haven't even gone a full 180, a full straight angle, a full pi. So I've gone less than a full pi, very close to pi. Five pi over six is the closest increments of six to hitting pi, right? So I am one pi over six away from six pi over six. So where does that get me? Right about here, okay? One pi over six away from six pi over six. I am at the angle that is closest to the x-axis in regards to unit circle angles. My answer is going to be positive here. Okay, cotangent and tangent are both positive and negative in the same places. So your answer will be positive. Now, it's not going to be a quadrantal angle. That eliminates your zero and undefined, right? Those are out. We have very few choices right now. It's positive. You have a one in three shot in getting it right if you guess out of the clear blue sky. It's either root three, it's one, or it's root three over three. Positive one of those, right? If it's at five pi over six, the tangent of any angle over six is root three over three. Positive or negative, we just said it's positive in this quadrant. Therefore, the symbol for therefore is three dots in a triangle. Therefore, we can conclude that the cotangent of negative five pi over six is the positive reciprocal, which is root three. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are able to conclude that this is equal to positive radical three, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. Hopefully you did that without a calculator, without looking up a unit circle, just using your good old noggin and uh, you, you did great, okay? So if you do it a different way, if you do it by tables or you have some other little trick, by all means, put it in the comment section. You might be helping other people. Um, if you feel fairly good about all of this and you can get an example of this right on your own, please thumbs up. If not, please thumbs down and go ahead, click through for the next example. And I hope you're just feeling at least a little bit more confident and smarter after this video. Adios.